piecing together just how a big change in the rules will work right here in Arizona following an executive order by our governor allowing National Guard troops to carry a gun at work. ABC 15's John Erickson is live on this one. And John, a colonel tells you his soldiers were actually the ones asking for this change, especially since that deadly shooting. And Katie, it's all because not every National Guard facility in our state looks like this one. We're off McDowell Road, where 24-7 they have armed guards and a security gate here. The idea for the executive order signed by the governor today is to allow National Guard members who don't have this kind of security at their property, and there are many of those across the state, to feel a little bit safer on the job. And that includes recruiting centers, which are by design open to the public. They want people to come in and sign up. Up until recently, though, the National Guard has followed the Department of Defense's way of doing business, which is no weapons on the job for most people, including recruiters. But because the National Guard is actually under the control of the governor, the governor can change the rules for the National Guard. That's what he did today. So here's the plan, according to a colonel. What we're looking at here is uh, running our guardsmen through a training program, arming them, and allowing them to uh, carry that weapon into the workplace. So you see the armed guards here, they also run a mirror under every vehicle that comes through. They're checking everyone's ID. As far as what the National Guard looks like statewide, how many people will this affect? Well, there are about 5,000 members of the uh, Arizona Army National Guard, while there are about 2,500 members of the Arizona Air National Guard. Most of all of those, Katie, are part-time. John, thank you.